Mark chapter 2, verse 4. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. How committed are you to ministry? How committed are you to service? When I look at this story, I am very inspired and challenged. Think about it. This man was paralyzed. He wanted a change in his life. He wanted healing. Healing that would bring an absolute turnaround in his circumstances. But he could not get to Jesus on his own. Now here comes four friends who, first of all, they dared to believe with him. You know, unfortunately, many times it is so hard to find persons who will believe with you for your victory, believe with you for your difference, Believe with you for change. You know, so often when we tell persons our goals, our dreams, our hopes, our aspirations, their first response is to throw cold water on it, to tell you that it can't work and give you all the reasons and all the persons who tried something like that and it didn't work. But here were four friends who were enablers for good cause. They not only believed, they showed their commitment by saying, we'll take you. They carried him to the place where Jesus was. That also must have been a sacrifice. They had to carry his weight and they had to go there, not because they wanted to, but because he wanted to. But when they got there, whew, roadblock. There was no room in the house. They couldn't even get through the door. Now, that sounds like the perfect reason and basis to say, well, sorry, I guess today is not your day, bro. We tried. You see we tried. But did they do that? No. They climbed up the side of the house. Understand, that would be putting themselves in harm's way. That's extra work, extra load, carrying the paralyzed man up the side of a house. And then they cut the roof of a stranger's house, therefore risking again themselves because clearly, under normal circumstances, that would create at least some angst, not to mention liability. But they did that and let him down. And imagine how careful they had to be to ensure that this paralyzed man didn't end up a dead man whilst they were letting him down through the roof. And all of that, not for themselves, but for a friend. How committed are we to serving others? How committed are we to true ministry? How committed are we to helping others become better versions of themselves? Helping others find deliverance, finding change, finding God? Are we having a ministry of convenience? Or is it a real ministry where we are prepared to go out of our way? To suffer sometimes with others? To be inconvenienced so that someone can be blessed, can be delivered, can be taken to the next place? Let's talk about it today.
I look forward to hearing your comments. How committed are we to service? God bless you. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And for more, please visit us on a Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually as we stream live on Facebook. See you soon.